ça. All right, so basically it's the end of the day here and I just got home and uh, I wanted to take care of a few last minute things in the kitchen and then clean the kitchen so that when my wife gets here we can both make dinner. I was actually practicing uh, some training with Lenny and had him on his place for several minutes and then I decided to add the video. So you actually caught the last 20 minutes in fast forward um, of what we were doing. Lenny stayed on his place the whole time. Now the reason for this is because we want Lenny to be good at staying on his place and holding a sit. So this is actually a skill we're practicing. He sat for almost 30 minutes until I came over to him and gave him a come command and called him with me and then we went off in a different direction and did other stuff. But basically he stayed in his in that sit for close to 30 minutes because that is the skill that we're practicing. It's not proper to expect a dog to be able to perform a stationary command for a duration of time in a real life situation if you've never practiced it before. So basically, I need to clean the kitchen. I need to train Lenny. I want Lenny to understand, you know, duration. We were at that, that point, we're practicing around massive distraction and we're practicing duration of time. Lenny's done really well. And I cleaned the kitchen while he stayed on his place. And what I want to stress to you guys is that it's very important that you help your dog uh, with a specific skill and for duration if you have the expectation that your dog should perform that skill or that duration in a real life situation. What you're looking to have is you want your dog to understand that sit has meaning in a variety of situations around a variety of distractions or else it won't make sense to your dog. Like Lenny's been practicing staying on his place for a lot of things here lately, but, um, but I haven't really ran the vacuum around him too much. But once I got the vacuum out, I realized how much he wanted to avoid it. So helped him learn that the sit command has meaning even though there's a distraction of the vacuum that he's afraid of. And what actually happened was because I made him stay in a sit and he paid attention to me and not the vacuum cleaner, we helped create certainty in Lenny's mind of what he should be doing when the vacuum cleaner is running. And then he learned to be confident with the vacuum uh, 
<laughs> with the vacuum, <laughs> vacuuming the floor and vacuuming around him and, and things like that. So um, you can definitely use your obedience to build your skills and you can also use the, the obedience to, cr to structure situations to create certainty for your dog and then take that and help build confidence over time as you're showing your dog situation to situation to situation. If you have any questions or comments about this video or about any of the content that I've explained today, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, then please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so that you're notified when we upload new videos. So until next time, have a good night.